It's happening, it's happening. Racing is back. Racing is back. <laughs> What you're watching, what you're watching, what you're watching, it's race day tomorrow, it's a race day tomorrow, right, see you race day! Very, it's happening! Hey Mary, it's race day tomorrow, okay, bye! It's race day! It's happening! It's race day! It's finally here! We're driving to the Headcorn Half Marathon. We're both going to run it, but we haven't really got a plan in the sense that we're not looking for a time, we're not looking for anything. We're just looking to enjoy the day. Um, Mary, <laughs> Mary looks like someone from the Matrix right now. Look, she's got a little gloves on. <laughs> it's a perfect morning, sunny and cold. Yeah. And obviously, because it's race day, Alpha flies are on again. Man, I love these things. I barely wear them, but they're so worth it in race day. And sadly, no Winnie today either because we're both racing, so we've had to leave her at home. So sorry, if you're Winnie fans and just here for Winnie, it's not happening. Let's talk race. Um, really, I'm just here to enjoy it, and I think Mary is too. We're not, we're, we just wanna see what's in our legs rather than um, go hard and try and hold on. Uh, I think that's your tactic as well, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's just a really lovely day, you know? Okay, registered. Jogging back to the car park just to take all our clothes off now. Not literally, I'm not running naked, but it's time to get game ready. We found a bit of solitude here for our warm up. Uh, oh, it's brisk. <laughs> All right, it's go time. It's exciting. We've got a couple of minutes till uh, start. Better get there actually. So, actually, the queue is all the way over there. We were doing our warm-up, so we're going to the back of the queue, so uh, I don't know how I feel about that. So I've taken the opportunity to come to the start line, considering I am the last runner out, so might as well watch a few people start. All right, back markers, here we go. We are literally the last people in the race. <laughs> Have a good race, Mary. Thanks. Have a good race, guys. You too. Yeah. Right, thank you. See you later. See you, mate. Woo we're off. I gotta go. Nothing else to say, but I'll start running. Okay. Maybe I went out a bit too fast. 326 first kilometer, but I feel good. Now it's just about keeping that heart rate manageable for the next few. Whoops. All right, we're 5K in. Um, probably went out a bit too hard. Sub 18 minutes for the first 5K, 17.58. But I do feel all right. Heart rate's just that little bit high. We're only 5k in, we'll see where we go. But at the moment, uh, let's just see what happens. Such a nice morning. Just through 5k. Feeling good. Pace is good. Not going too crazy. But loving it so far. Alright, actually went through. 10k and a PB 36.01 and my PB is 36.12 so either I've grossly overdone it or the winter training is doing well for me. I suspect it's a bit of both but heart rate is much higher than it should be. 
43.40 so really enjoying it feel quite steady um, potentially on PB pace but don't want to go wild if I can hold this I'll hold it if not then I don't know alright I went through 15k in 54 something so there is a PB on for me if I want it or if my body can hold on uh, but I know that the last 5k is net downhill so just hoping that that's enough because yeah I pushed harder in the early stages than I would usually just so 15k 105 slow it down a bit because a bit hilly but the last section's downhill <sighs> holding on right 20k in 112 pb's on now just gotta hold on for less than a kilometer empty the tank oh my god the pain heart rate sky high Whew. come on i've spent on this <laughs> Okay, official time reads oh, 116.45, so I'm really happy with that because that's a PB. Um, felt really hard, but now we just got to wait for Mary to come in, um, see how her legs felt, because mine, I obviously, I went too hard at the start and tried to hold on, but it's still a PB, a PB is a PB. Great finish. Yeah, so the table. 132.48. How do you feel? Awesome. I absolutely loved it. My filming was terrible. <laughs> but I was just concentrating on enjoying it, which I really did. Well, my age group. So that's quite a nice little bonus because I didn't expect that. Like I think the, the winning time time was 114 and I did 116.45, so. Yeah, I'm really happy. I did not expect it, but I will take it home with me. Right, bye lovely people. Thank you everyone. Well done. How are you feeling? Great. We'll pick this up. This is not car chat, by the way. This is just well done. This is just getting in the car. Oh, it's warm. It was cold out there. It's really cold. My hands were actually cold for the first five kilometres. Mm. Feel good though. Like I'm just so happy that that was in my legs. I'm oh, sure yeah. you were the same. Well, I've got a PB and it. This is the most miles I've ever run in a week. Yeah, no taper, no nothing, and you just ran 132. What was it? 132.40 something. 132.46. Boom car, drink, chatty chat can only mean, well it can mean a lot of things, but in our circumstances it can only mean one thing, right Mary? I think I would have put a bell there, in my I head. So. I think I'll I will ring a double bell. For two PBs, because we both just ran PBs in the Headcorn Half Marathon. So that's pretty cool in itself. We've obviously got Millionaire Shortbread. Can I just apologize for yeah. the cups? These Careful. are the, yeah, this is, we forgot to bring our reusable ones and we're a bit gutted about that because we really try. Uh, but we are looking into getting some car chat reusable mugs made. So that would be really cool. It was a lovely day and a lovely race and a lovely weather and a bit of a headwind. It was quite windy actually, but um, aside from the wind, it was probably perfect temperature, sun shining, beautiful scenes. It wasn't flat. It wasn't flat. It was not flat. We're, but flatter than where we live. Yeah, I mean, the fact, if we'd have run that maybe in Marden, for the, when, when I did the Marden, the 117, I think I'd have gone even faster because there were some climbs there. You know, there was some grinds. 
a um, long, slow, gradual uphill. Yeah, and, my, and you know, it was spiking my heart rate, and then my heart rate was going back down. Mm. Um, there was a chunk in the middle, like 11 to 15k for me was probably the hardest bit, and I slowed my pace a little, but I knew then it was going to be flat or downhill for the last 5k. When did you know you were on for a PB? Um, well, I just felt really good the whole thing. Like, I felt really in control, which is quite unusual for me, but it's becoming a thing. <laughs> and I felt really steady, and my heart rate was really steady in the 170s, and I knew that I could hold that. So, I think at 10k, when I was on, I'd been running about 420s there or thereabouts, and I just knew it felt sustainable. So, I was like, if I just hold this pace, I'm not going to try and push it harder. I can get a TV. And let's not forget, this is your heaviest, heaviest, this is your heaviest mileage week you've ever done, pretty much. Yeah, I think this is the most miles I've ever run in a week. So. And you still just got a PB of 132, 20 something, because it was it was 100 meters longer, the course. Yeah. Um, so a little bit less than what we, we said we got, but you know, we'll take it. I've gone out harder than I've ever gone out. It really felt it, and I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold this. The gel really helped. I only took one. I didn't did take you? two. Yeah. I did two. Like on clockwork, 30 minutes and one hour. No, I took one at about 40 minutes. But I was in so much pain, it was hard to even get the gel out of the... Filming today was, was much oh, harder gosh. than it ever has been. But um, I struggle filming anyway in a race. I was doing that loads. I love running like that. Yeah, well that, I noticed, I was doing, I was holding the GoPro. I was clutching it really tight and I was like, this is not calming. So I kept having to put it away. I'm really glad I didn't take the handle and do that. I thought that would be hard. Yeah. But I was just, every time I felt a bit, oh, I felt like that for a couple of kilometers and just really settled down. I just felt pretty calm and strong and smooth today, would be my three words. Excellent. We want to tell you about a competition that we're launching where you can win 50 pounds worth of run through kit. And that was the kit that we were both wearing today in, in the top. race. Um, my lucky kit, I've got two PVs in that kit. You have indeed. So we're going to tell you about the competition when we get home and we're going to launch it on Instagram as well. And you know, you may as well put your hat in the ring, right? 50 pounds worth of kit to, to wear. Really and nice. it's lovely kit, I yeah. think. The vest I wore today, I really like. So it's just so comfortable. But we'll tell you about it in a minute when we get home. We need and to... competitions are winnable. I just won one the other week on Instagram. It was so exciting. You won us two Say Sky T-shirts. Yeah, they're like absolutely lush. Competitions are winnable, guys. Yeah. Okay. Competition details very quickly. This video is to coincide with an Instagram post that we're going to do because the competition is going to be run over on Instagram and it will be on. Wednesday the 14th of April and it will last for a week so this video comes out on Wednesday the 14th the post on Instagram so you need to go to Instagram to check it out but I mean just check out some of the kit that run through do it's so comfy it's so nice do you want to take your top off oh that me that'll be me inserting that'll be me inserting a Kenneth Williams clip the pink top is run through the blue top is run through this is run through. My I look shorts. like Casper the Friendly Ghost. What is going on with the lighting? Mary's shorts, I've got shorts. You can check it all out, but for the competition, and it, you're gonna get 50 quid's worth of kit. It's worth throwing your hat in the ring because we won something from a different company not long ago, so it, it does happen. Go for it. Check out the Instagram post. All right, Mary, what video do we put up there this time? Uh, let YouTube choose. Okay, YouTube chooses that. That's the subscribe button in case you want to join the journey, learn about running, come with us on our journey. Enjoy my jokes. Enjoy Mary's jokes if you watched the last video. Don't think I've made any today. Oh no. Uh, that is That was no joke running a PB. See what I... <laughs> See you next week.